how to say, um, I mean, during the first COVID quarantine, watched, uh, I think Sportsnet was uh, replaying a bunch of old games. So not so much Bobby R, but a little bit of Paul Coffey. So saw him a little bit, but then, um, no, obviously I know about Bobby Orr and uh, how he changed the game pretty, that's for sure. So both of those guys reached 30 goals multiple times. You're at 10 through 18 games. Just talk about the real possibility of you scoring 30 goals in the defense. Yeah, I mean, um, I don't know if that is a possibility. That's a stretch. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I don't, obviously, I don't think there's going to be too many streaks like I just had with a couple goals every night. But um, at the same time, I want to contribute offensively. So uh, I'll look for those chances when when they arise. But I'm definitely not uh, seeking out to be a 30, uh, 30 goal scorer defenseman. It'll, uh, it'll come if our team's playing well. So the goal here tonight obviously was a big one. It was the GW broken one one tie if you could just talk about how you got that puck through there yeah uh, we were working it really well um in the ozone and then um just saw that landy was coming across and uh just uh, decided to shoot that one and landy made a good tip on it and uh yeah it was a good goal let's go give it to you let's oh to yeah you. i think so because uh landy landy got the goal so uh, he tipped it so that's what he, that's what he said so so much for 10 goals. And there you go. Yeah, I was going to say I didn't know. So. Apparently, you're still at nine. Yeah, okay. close enough. <laughs> maybe Landy's going to give it to you. Though. Yeah, maybe. I'll talk to him. If I can follow up, how tough is it to stay involved in the play, make your team win, and not seek or go for those goals? Uh, I mean, for me, not that hard. I just, it's not something that I really um, focus on on an individual level is, uh, so much individual success as much as team success so um i say this a lot but with team success will come individual success so uh, everybody on our team knows that and it's kind of where we're at okay i'm sure how did you all especially the work by o'connor on that i mean how much of a boost was that for you guys at that point yeah oc's uh, uh obviously a very tenacious player and um, he just uh, hunted the puck up the ice and made an unbelievable uh, turnover play and got it to val and um, he's been an incredible, incredible player for us this year. So um, I'm hopefully excited to see that continue because, uh, yeah, no, he definitely, he works super hard and uh, on and off the ice. And it's, it's, it's awesome to see that it's paying off for him. And for you guys to come back the next night after uh, the game in Toronto, that, to have the opportunity to put that one behind you right away uh, must be very satisfying for you guys to have it play. Yeah, obviously we wanted to uh, to focus on a better start, and I think we did that tonight. Um, other than that, we knew that they were going to check hard, and we just had to kind of stick with it. We gave them some chances, but at the end of the day, we just kept uh, sticking to our game plan and um, and working hard up the ice. So, um, not much else to go from there. Yeah. You go from allowing eight goals and just one, obviously, you face half as many shots, but just overall about coming back and just kind of redeeming yourself. Here. Yeah, it feels it, it feels really good. Uh, you know, I mean, last night was last night. Uh, I don't think anyone was happy with that game, including me. And so, yeah, really nice to come back and get the two points tonight and take it from there. Coach, have anything to say to you tonight? Uh, you know, said had comments after the game last night. No, nothing specific. He asked me if I if I had the energy to to go back in and. Uh, I, I thought I had, so yeah, that, but that's about it, yeah. Anything else? All right, thanks, Georgia. Thanks. Thanks, man. Jared, are you pleased with how the team basically bounced back and generated that chance all over the ice? I, I was, yeah. You know, I thought we had um, definitely the right intent. I thought we played hard. We checked, checked really well tonight. Um, kept the scoring chances down in all three periods, pretty consistent with that. Um, and having said that, I still thought we had a, a few, a few guys that didn't play very well. Um, but, but as a team and within the structure of our game and, and, and JJ, but, um, you know, bouncing back and goal was big for us. I thought, I thought we did a nice job. Penalty kill was really good. So we did enough good things that, that um, throughout the 60 minutes to win the hockey game, which is, which is important. I mean, we needed that. How much of a spark did O'Connor give you guys? I mean, he's been huge for us all year. 
Yeah, it, he's uh, he's really come into his own the last two seasons. Last year, his, his season got cut short with a with an injury. We missed him for a while. Like we, um, but he means a lot to our lineup. He's been a guy that you know with McKinnon out, he played on our first line. Um, he's moved back down to the. We've liked our second line a lot. So with Mac back, he's on the third line, and, and it doesn't matter where we move him the things that he does to help his line mates has, has, has been really consistent and, and really incredible. He, he, he's such a puck hound on the four check and even tracking to turn pucks over and get us back playing in the other end of the rink, such a strong skater, the penalty kill, he's all over the puck and creating turnovers like he did tonight on, on, on Val's goal. So um, he's been invaluable for us. It's just been a thing with, with a lot of my, and then, you know, there's always that mystic potential, but if that's never translated offensively, what, what do you think does so well in order to get that production? Well, he's he's sort of been an earlier version of O'Connor for us. I mean, he came to us um, from Dallas having not scored a goal in, in the entire season in, in Dallas the year before. Um, so we talked to him and, and he decided to come and give us a try. And we knew we had some opportunity for him. And I would say from day one, he was creating a ton of chances. He doesn't score easy. He doesn't, he, he gets a lot of chances, doesn't score on a lot of them. Generally, um, he can go through some streaks where he finishes pucks off. I mean, he had the one he, he's been scoring at a pretty good clip this year. Uh, almost had a second one tonight. I think it hit the post. But his his ability to check the puck back and and um, defend and 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 be a shot suppression guy, a chance suppression guy against other teams' top players is is elite in my opinion. Um, skates real well, strong, long, just real good conscious to his game, and it's it started he, you know we, as we started moving him up from the fourth line to the third line. Now he's playing our second line. Uh, he's a huge part of that because when he's if he misses, um, you know I find that our second like our second line guys aren't as productive because he does a lot of the heavy lifting for him. Kale said that he didn't get that second goal that Landy tipped it. How did you see it? I haven't seen the replay, so some of them you got, especially the way the camera is on a lot of them, you have to go back through the replays to really see if it who it hits and, and what happens. I don't know how they figure that all out on the well, ice. They but. keep it. His tails, it's obviously yeah. his tent that ties for the, the team scoring lead. And that's a third to 30. Overall thoughts about just his game. I know you talked about it pre game, but. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it's been really good. I thought he had an off night last night. Um, he still shows up on a lot of our chances for. Um, he always has the ability to do that. And when he's really playing on top of his game, he can get back for pucks and break you out. But, I mean, his ability this year to kind of shoot the puck more, better shot selection, more of them are going in. The ability to score from distance, like some of the elite forwards in the league, is, is really good. So we want to keep encouraging him to do that. He does it again tonight, gets another big one. Yeah, I think, I mean, it's different every year, right? You get your makeup of your team and, um, We've been a dangerous offensive team. I think we've, we've continued to do that this year, especially month of November, right? We're without McKinnon. I think we average 4.9 goals per game. But you have to be able to check the right way and, and, and limit other teams' scoring chances. And, you know, sometimes we like to try and skill. Our, our, our knock would be for me that there's times when we try to skill our way through games and, and, and we, we want to – you know, play more of a pond hockey game. And when we do that last year or this year, last year, we didn't see it a lot. And, um, but when we saw it, we generally didn't win hockey games. Like I think our team is, is really understanding of what we have to do uh, on both sides of the puck to, to win hockey games. And I think last night was a real good example of it in uh, Toronto. We came out, they were more determined. Um, they checked harder than we checked. 
and I go through the scoring chances. We lost 8-2. I go through the scoring chances at the end of the night. We had plenty of scoring chances to win a hockey game. It just they had triple the amount we want to give up. So, um, and then if you look at the scoring chances from that game, because it's a perfect example of it in the second period, I think we outchanced them three or four to one. Okay. Um, so for me, when you're doing the right things, not only on the defensive side of the puck, it leads to good offense. And, and, and that's what we've been selling to our team. That's what they bought into, which is why I was impressed with our team's effort tonight, because, you know, I've got them at a low scoring chance number and I'll have to pick through it. And generally I'll add a couple more in there, but it's, it, it's one of our best of the year. And that was what we focus on coming out of last night's game. I believe our team will create chances to win the hockey, win enough hockey games. It's just making sure the other team doesn't get as many as they need, you know? So you're your final numbers for tonight, four and against? No, I, I haven't looked at our four. Um, I picked through some of them in, in intermission and I went through the chances against. Um, but again, I'm going to, I'll have to go back through it because lots of times it's just, I'll see some things that maybe our video guy didn't see cutting live. I thought he was good. I was really proud of him. He looked square to the shooters all night. He didn't give up a lot of rebounds. Uh, the one from the points finds its way through, and I don't know if that hit our guy or went, went directly in either. It was a good shot. There was a little bit of traffic there, but not a lot. Um, but, but as a young goalie, you know, generally we wouldn't play our guy back to back, but in this case, he hasn't played a lot of hockey and I wanted to see what, you know, what he was made of tonight because last night was a tough night for him and for our team. And we're asking our team to bounce back and respond. And I wanted to give him that opportunity. So I talked to him yesterday on the plane about his energy level, checked in with him this morning. And I, I told him last night, if he's still feeling good this morning, then I'd like him to go and, and try to bounce back with the rest of the group because he's been working hard with us for months now and has only played a handful of games. And this is an opportunity now for him to string some games together and hopefully gain some confidence. Come on, please. Um, you had Eric Johnson in for his 800th game tonight. Yeah. What is it like having him as a four better defenseman? And what does that mean? Well, it means a lot. I think if you look at it, look at his team tonight, I thought he was really good, right? So big, long, strong guy that can skate, can help us on the offensive side of things. He can, and he's, and we're using him a lot in a little bit more of a shutdown role because of some of the guys that we have, uh, especially when Mo is in, and he's been able to adapt his game and, and, and give us valuable minutes in all kinds of situations. And, um, you know, a late in game, six on five, all that kind of stuff. I, I think he's, um, you know, he's, he's bought into it. He's a leader. He just wants to win. And, and you know, we, you go, you go through it and, and he's been helpless in a lot of ways. Like last night, I thought, you know, that our decor as a whole had an off night, but tonight they bounce back. And, and like I said, this is an important win here to get this uh, road trip at one-on-one. One more. Do you have any update on, on uh, Kemper or timeline? I do. Yeah, no, I, I do not. Like, I'm hoping that they're not going to be long term, but I, I just don't know. We're just going to keep evaluating them every day. So I couldn't tell you. I mean, it could be two days. It could be a month. I have no idea. Okay, thank you. Yeah.